Level up your listening with Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra Earbuds and Headphones with immersive sound and world class noise cancellation for a not so silent night. Visit Bose.com slash Spotify to shop sound that's more than a present. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T Moss Boss Show. And in this episode, I, I wanted I wanted to talk about these type of TV shows because I I had to say I discovered an interest for one show, one show at least. But these shows I've seen ever since I was a kid. But I'm pretty sure everybody knows about those like ghost TV shows or them guys go off up in houses. Um, yeah, and then just see if the place is haunted or not. So, last weekend, when I had missed an episode, that's what I was actually doing. I was over at a friend's house watching this show. And then today, I watched this show, and I had to say, I probably, that, that had to have been, without doubt, the most creepiest episode I think I've ever, like, watched. And that's, like, my, I mean, I've, I've watched the go, I mean, I'm, like, yeah, last weekend, I watched a couple of episodes but um yeah this this show i was like um this episode i'm like dang like these guys really be doing this stuff like that's that ain't normal that is not normal at all like i'm i'm saying it was funny because when i was over at my friend's house watching it it was like dead silence they turned all the lights out i don't know why me i'm like i gotta watch stuff with lights on especially stuff like that like i when i was watching that whole episode i just watched uh, today it was yeah I had my lights on I ain't like God yeah it's they yeah they they're much more um, guttier than me like me I I ain't got no guts when it comes to that type of stuff like they even asked me do I believe in ghosts and I was like I do I just don't want to see them so like unless they're like a friendly ghost or something like I know it ain't going to hurt me or scare me then cool I think I think we got something going on here but. Yeah, I'm like, if I'm dealing with, like, like some Conjuring or some Annabelle, some stuff like that. Yeah, and then even in this episode. So today's episode, so they went over to this house where I guess Ted Bundy had killed some girl at. And then when you go in the house and you get one of those, like, dark lights or they, like you can, like, see certain stuff on the walls you can't see with a regular light. They, uh, yeah, you see, like, all this, like devil worship stuff and all these other things they had symbols all over the place i'm like man you guys why would y'all for i they had me i probably did like a guest appearance on that episode but i wouldn't have done like a regular weekly day-to-day or whatever you want to call it type episode because i'm like that's that ain't normal that's just not normal so anyways they uh they go into the house they go like so they go in the house during the day they were already like freaking out and having some moments there and was hearing voices. Then they go there at night. And it was like, I swear, like during the day, it ain't that crazy. But at night, that's when it's like really just not normal. And so they're in there. And the one guy, he wanted to, like, they told the one guy to go in there by himself. They had me in that scene. I'm like, I'm not going in there by myself. We either go in there all together or we don't go in there at all. But I'm not going in there by myself. That's something I will not do. Then the one guy, he got, um, they locked him off up in a room by, or no, I think he had somebody in there with him. But still, like, don't, don't lock me in this room because I probably would have been screaming, had a panic attack, and I'd be like, no, I can't do this. I cannot do this. Then at some point, something grabbed a man's leg. What other things happened? The one guy was just like being dead silent and he just walked off by himself. And I guess they showed in this um, specialized camera, they show where it was like a light entity. And I guess that's like the ghost and things had flashed across his leg and just his leg, like nowhere else. It was just his leg. And he was just all like, all right, then he um, walked until so he walked up the stairs. Then he walked back down the stairs. And then uh, he just stand in the middle of one of the, like, circles, one of the, um, like, worship circles and stuff. And then he was just like, I need somebody to, like, get me up out of here. Like, I, I can't move or something like that. See, I'm like, stuff like that, I just, I'm, I, I can't handle that type of, uh, that type of stuff. 
I, I, that, that's, that's just the form, like, that part of the world, I just won't mess around with, unless I'm doing a movie, and I know for a fact that that place is not haunted, but, yeah, I'm like, I, I can't do stuff like that, a, stay in a place where I know people got killed then, or be there for a couple of hours and things, like, and the part, the part that tripped me out was that, they just, like, they do this. Like, this is a regular show. Like, this is a show. I don't even think that show just started. Like, no, I think they've been on for a few seasons. And then last week's, epi last week's episode, no, that was crazy, too. That was crazy. It was, uh, they go, they went into this, um, a, like, museum, um, prison. But it was, like, people died in there and things. And, um, yeah, it was, like, the one, the part that tripped me out, that was, like, no, that's, that's not happening. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what the contract says. That's not happening. But when they had went into the prison, this girl came up from behind them and locked the door. Why would you do that? Why Why would you lock the door? And I'm like, why am I inside and not outside? I don't want to be locked inside of a place where people got killed. And I guess this place is like hunting and stuff. Then that was the episode I wanted to watch, but I ended up um, missing it was uh they went into a mine and i guess like 40 dudes get um died down there due to a fire or something like that i'm like that's i don't even know why people be fooling around with stuff like that man i seriously don't like that's one thing i'm like i i don't think i can do it i do not think i can do it unless it's like a friendly ghost area like this like these ghosts was like just good people and they just at the wrong place at the wrong time and they're known for not hurting people like, they'll slip me 10 bucks in my pocket or something. Then, okay. Then those type of ghosts, cool. I like them. But a ghost that's going to push me down some stairs, because that's what happened to one of the guys in the show. He was, uh, yeah, he was checking out the place. Got pushed in down some stairs. Uh, the one girl got locked inside of a room. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm like, that That type of stuff, I, nah. Nope, 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 mm-mm. I will not do it, and I will not be a part of it. So, anyways, that's why I'm like, I don't even like playing scary video games. I remember if you guys go on my gaming YouTube channel, T Moss Boss Gaming, I played uh, Resident Evil 7. And Resident Evil 7, that's pretty much, yeah, just you going through a haunted house and stuff. I guess it's, like, supposed to be, I don't know, like, they were dead and alive. Like, I ain't really, I don't really know how to describe them, but... They, uh, yeah, I went in that place, and that game was, that was not normal, what they had going on in that game. Freaking people busting out of walls, the girl had cut my, like, I, did she cut, I think it was my fingers, I don't know, I hadn't played that game in a couple of years, but, yeah, I was like, I, nah, something like that in real life, and I guess it was like the guy's wife had went missing, I'm like, well, babe, you shouldn't have went through this house in the first place. So, therefore, you just going to have to... Like, I probably... I would have went there, but with a SWAT team. A Bible. Like, a water gun filled with holy water. Um, What else? Yeah, I'm like, I... And uh, crosses. Uh, lots and lots of crosses. And I'm like, I have a backpack. I have the Book of Eli. And, yeah, Denzel Washington and everything. I'm like, I will not. Okay, be in a place like that by myself. That's the thing. I'm like, I just don't understand. Like, when you be, even when you watch those movies and then they be doing that stuff by themselves, I'm like, uh uh, no. I'm going, I'm coming out here with a group of people and we are not leaving each other's side. We are not. That's why, like, look, look at, look like how uh, Scooby Doo and them guys, how long they lasted. The reason why, they might have split up, but they were with people, okay? So I'm like, and they had a talking dog, and I'm pretty sure if there were ghosts in that TV show, they were confused by the fact that a dog can talk. So yeah, I'm like, that's why they lasted so long. Yeah, and a talking dog, okay, the Scooby-Doo van and everything. But in all seriousness, I will not do something like that. And I know people, I would go to like one of those like fake haunted houses and things where a person jump out of a wall and scare you and stuff. That's, that's as far as I would go. But an actual haunted house, like the one movie, that movie will probably, without doubt, be the best haunted house movie I have ever watched. And there might be, like, better haunted house movies out there, but this one, House on Haunted Hills, the 90s version, the one with Tay Diggs, and, um, I think, what was that girl's name, like, Allie Carter or Allie, what, I need to see that girl's name.
But overall, I like that House on Hunted Hills that came out in the 90s. House on Hunted Hill. Yeah, the 1999 version. Rotten Tomato gave that movie a 30%. I don't think so. I, nah. That movie, that had to been, yeah, to me, that is like the best, um, what's that girl's name? Allie Larter, okay. Yeah, then they had some other, um, people in there. But anyways, I just only remember Allie Larter and Tay Diggs, because those are the only actors that I really know and seen them in multiple movies and stuff. I've seen some of the other guys in movies too, but those, those are the ones I've seen them the most in. But anyways, so, yeah, that movie, that, to me, that would be the one house I will. I don't even think it was a real house, but I would stay far, far, far away from that house because no. For those that don't know about that movie, House on Honey Hill. So, underneath this uh, like mansion slash house, it because I yeah I think overall it was a mansion as big as that place was. It had to have been a mansion and stuff. But anyways, underneath the uh, house was an insane asylum. So anyways, the patients in that um, insane asylum, they all went like just like, I mean, they were already kind of like crazy and stuff, but they really went crazy and they broke out and then they killed all the doctors, set this big fire and then, yeah, the whole place was um, pretty much just on fire and things. So anyways, in the movie House on Honey Hill, so it was crazy because the guy typed up this party for these people to show up, but then for some odd reason... All the names disappeared, and then they start typing up random names. And so, yeah, they get all these, like, Hertz and limousines and stuff and took them to this place, um, to the house on Honey Hill. And uh, one of the guys, he knew about the place. He knew that that place wasn't right. So, anyways, they're in the house. Eventually, yeah, they're, like, all in there talking amongst each other. And then at some point in time, I think, yeah, it was the ghost. Like, they was just like, okay, like, this is it. This is everybody. Cool. Like, we just gonna lock this place. I like how the ghosts... They gave them, like, a time. They were like, okay, so is this everybody? This is everybody that's going to be in this house? Okay, cool. Lock this place down. So, yeah, the whole house locks down. You see all these big, like, giant metal doors just slam shut. So they're stuck in the house. Then eventually, yeah, they all split up, all end up getting killed. And then it got towards the end of the movie where this big mega-like ghost came out of this room and just started tearing up the place. That, I'm like, man, that movie, I watched that movie when I was a kid, and it didn't really get to me, but it's like, now talking about it and things, I'm like, dang, that would be the most scariest situation, and then, yeah, then it was like, they eventually, they, the messed up part about it was that two, two of them, two of the people out of the group, they got out, but they're stuck all the way on top of the house, and they're sitting there laughing because I think they had got six million dollars because that was like the whole um like plot of the movie. If they stayed in the house, then each of them would get a million dollars. And so yeah, it was six people, but then they died, and a few other people died. And um, I'm like, no, uh, uh-uh. uh, I, I, no, I, I would not stay in that place for a million dollars. I wouldn't. I, it would, it would honestly, I like, and like I, it's, and then the fact that they, there was a group of people there, no, it has to probably, they see, and then that's the thing, there might be, like, set another fire, then I'm in there, and I'm sitting there dining things, I'm like, nah, I'm like, I, unless I'm guaranteed that I will survive, and all those metal doors are taken out of the house, like, no, I'm like, you guys gotta take the metal doors out, because if this place locks down while I'm inside, you best believe I'm gonna be flipping out screaming crying like that's who i am i'm a crier when it when i deal with stuff like that i cry i mean i've never cried before but i mean like no watch watch those resident evil 7 videos you'll understand why i am not good for a haunted house stuff because no in the, i remember the last because the last time i played that game it seriously it scared the crap out of me but anyways i'm walking down this hallway right I'm walking down this hallway getting ready to like find out where my opposed wife is at and things i'm walking down the hallway next thing you know these giant flies bust through this window scared the crap out of me i just took the shotgun just start shooting all over the place and i remember i told a co-worker about that he just started laughing i'm like you understand that is scary okay when you're it's just dead silence and then all of a sudden you just hear glass breaking and stuff like and then you see these giant flies flying around you and stuff yeah and i guess like you're supposed to like hit them with some like weapon that you later on find throughout the house and things but 
It was like I had already my the thing that I don't understand is that I had already got out of the house. Why was I going into another house? And then they had it where you go into a third house, I think, or it's like another. I'm like, man, I ain't got time for all of that. I got out of the one house. That's the one house I'm staying out of. And I'm like, that's it. Because real life me, real me wouldn't even have been out there. I'd be like, no, we getting a search party. We're getting a bunch of people. Okay. All of the volunteers we can possibly get. We're going over to this house, finding my wife. And I know people are going to probably be all like, bro, that's. That's your wife, like, you need to, uh, like, you should be the one finding her and things. I'm like, yeah, I, I know. I know I should. But I got to be there with people. I'm just saying, like, I, I got to be there with people. Got to be there with everybody possible. Cops, SWAT team, the Army, Navy SEALs, freaking the Air Force, national, um, freaking National Guards. Uh, Who else? I got to be there. And I mean everybody. Everybody. A, like, about an army of priests. Bibles, holy waters, putting water guns, like, and then freaking holy water grenades, just in case if I don't feel like standing there and shooting, just throw it, like, yeah, a holy water balloon, um, what else, yeah, we, we going in weird, like, we're praying for that place, now, I just don't understand why, and my, the thing is, because my friend, she, like, she watches that show a lot, and so I'm like, bro, like, how do y'all sit in this house? at Because, no, there is some, when we were watching the show, I feel like I forgot to mention that. When we were watching the show, um, she has a dog. And so she put, because when I had walked into, it was like the first time I've ever been in her house. So when I walked in her, oh, in there, her dog had started barking at me, going crazy and things. So they put the dog in the room. i like, all right, you know. So later on, after a few games of Call of Duty, sitting down, eating Mike and Ike's, had a root beer fly. I had me a good time there, by the way. But anyways, after all of that, then we started watching this ghost adventure show. We were originally, I think we're going to try to find a scary movie to watch, but we were just like, nah, we just watched this uh, this show. So anyways, watching the show, I'm sitting there chilling. I start hearing the door going crazy behind us. I kid you not, first thing I did was that I looked at the window and seen if it was breakable. I seriously was going to jump out of that window if I remotely seen anything that wasn't her family. Because a good 90% of the family was there. The 10% was, um, I believe, asleep, the parents. So I don't under, I'm like, well, who else is in this house? And yeah, I was like, I was going, seriously, I, um, I told my mom, I was like, I, I would have paid for the window. But most likely, they wouldn't have uh, stayed in that house if we had seen something. Yeah, if they had started screaming or doing something, like, yeah. Because I was like, and then I look, and it was like just a small little dog coming out of the room. That small little dog made all those noises. That I was like, yeah, I looked at that window and seen if it was breakable. And I believe that it was. And if it didn't, best believe I was going to use every force, every bit of power within me to bust through that window. I don't even know what I was going to fall onto, but best believe I wasn't going to uh, be in that house anymore. So I was like, yeah, and I was like, cra mad, crazy thing about it, I left some uh, good shoes. I had, like, I wore some good um, shoes while I was over there too. But um, they actually, you know what? No, they came out with a new uh, colorway of them shoes. So I just went um, back up to the Nike store and just bought, uh, bought those shoes either again, the colorway that I had, or this new colorway. But yeah, I was like, them, I probably would have ditched them shoes. Um, yeah, I'm just like, I'm not cut out for that type of stuff. I like, and I think even when I remember I went to um, to uh, Universal Studios during Halloween. And uh, yeah, it was like, we went through these haunted houses. By the way, for those that have thought about that, like, oh, how how was that? Was that fun? It is, it's fun, but I would recommend that you become a very, very rich billionaire and buy the park, and then just have your family just go through that place, because if you do it while um, everybody is there, like thousands of people are there, you're going to be waiting in um, lines for a long time, there is lines, we were waiting in there for two hours, I think my, um, I because I eventually had left the place, I went and bought me this giant fat donut, and went back to the uh, hotel and then watched this movie called The Faculty. By the way, that's a good movie. I would suggest y'all check that out. But anyways, um, yeah, I was like, that, waiting in line for three hours for that stuff. But so, no. 
we had went to this um purge uh maze it wasn't even really a maze it was just like a little like street that you just walk down and guys would like randomly jump out and chase you with chainsaws and machetes and stuff no big deal but anyways so you're walking down the street and then yeah so no me and my mom because it was me my mom and my sister that was there so me and my i don't remember where my sister was at she where was she she was there i remember her being there i definitely remember her dang where did she go we straight up ditched my sister no so anyways we're walking and all of a sudden, I see this, like, just these guys come running up on me and my mom. They busted through this um, wall, and then they just start running at us with chainsaws. My mom grabbed my arm and tried to, like, hide behind me. No joke, and y'all can judge me <laughs> if you want to. I snatched my arm and snatched my body away from my mom, and I ran as fast as I could. And, uh, yeah, overall, I was like, why, why do I have to stay there and die? And I know people are going to be like, bro, that's your mom. You really left your mom? My mom should have been behind me following me. She did the same thing. Anybody did the same thing. What am I supposed to do? There's dudes coming at me with chainsaws and machetes. I'm supposed to just stand there and just like, I, I, how, how do you fight that? How do you fight that? Because I swing, my arm is getting cut off by one of them guys. They could both got sharp weapons. Can't do anything about it. So... I know one thing that I can do, and I had to, um, did I have, what kind of shoes I had at the time? Because this last trip, I wore, I'm, I don't even know how I did that, I wore these uh, Jordans and stuff, but what shoes did I have at the time? Dang, I don't remember what shoes, was this some Adidas? Either, either way, I had me some good running shoes, so I ran as fast as I could, gone. Pretty much, it was like, because no, then, um, because there were some kids in front of us, they had already had took off running. I ran so fast that I caught up to them. That is like, that's like, that has to, that's some serious speed on me. That is some serious speed on me. For me to like, they had, they already kind of had like a head start a little bit. But I ran that fast to where uh, I had pretty much like, yeah, caught up to them. I was just all like, nope, I'm not going out like that. So anyways... Uh, what else? Then, yeah, the haunted houses. I remember I was going through those. I kind of, like, stayed back a little bit because I already knew the game and stuff. They'll wait until somebody walks by, and then they jump out. Then that's when I walk in. So, yeah, I, I already had my plan going through them haunted houses because I'm like, I ain't going to get scared. Nope, I ain't going to do it. They ain't gonna, um, they ain't going to me catch me slacking and stuff. So, anyways, yeah, I don't do so well with ghost haunted houses. Um, What else? Yeah, I don't do so well with that stuff. I always thought about doing that, but now I'm like, nah, that's that's okay. That's 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 okay, cause that was one thing I always wanted to do. I wanted to go through like a uh, an abandoned asylum, but I'm like, if I were to do something like that, it has to be during the day with a group of people, not at night by myself. And I know people are about like, bro, imagine the uh, amount of views you would get on YouTube if you were to do something like that. I would have to be seriously desperate for a video but i'm fine i am fine on videos i think i can conjure up a lot of videos y'all don't understand how creative i am i can make any videos that will be the last video i can think of or can do but i trust me i got so many video ideas i think i will be okay i honestly think i will be okay so yeah, I'm not, I ain't doing stuff like that, man. I can't, I won't, it ain't me. I, uh, I, I'll do anything else before I do some stuff like that. So, people can say what they want, y'all can judge me. I ain't gotta do that type of stuff, so I will watch somebody do that type of stuff. Like, like, uh, the one freaking, the catacombs out in Paris. There's like six million people, um, were like buried off up in there or something like that. That, man, that's like, the movies look nice and all, but it's good when you've seen it on TV, but then when you're actually there, yeah, I know I will probably, I, what movie that, I, yeah, I remember I went to go see, because I, I know it'll probably be that all over again, but I definitely will have, like, a sweat attack, because, no, there's this movie I watched, that was a good movie, too, but, uh, it was this movie called, uh, Sinister, 
I was sweating so hard. I think it, I think it more so had something to do with the um, clothes that I was wearing because I had this like big old winter jacket and stuff, and uh, was watching that movie and things. And so, I think I blame my clothing, my clothing choices and stuff, because I ain't never did that any other time I went to go see a scary movie or watch a scary movie and stuff. So, but um, yeah, I don't do so well with that type of stuff, man. I, I think it's uh. I think it's best if um I just stay away from it all. So y'all can say what you want to say, but I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I think that this 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 will be a good like Halloween um episode. Um yeah, because I'm like I I can't really I should man, I really should have recorded something like this on Halloween day. But I mean Halloween it is in a few days when you think about it, so it's it's cool. I, I it it counts. I'll think of something else to talk about. Something scary. Who knows? I might I might tell I might tell a scary story. I think I should do that because I'm like I'm good at telling stories and stuff. I, I should man. That's a I see. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? <laughs> I can think of some stuff. All right. And um, like no, I think I should do that one of these days. Show you guys how creative I am, and then just tell a story. Like, not even have it, like, written down, like, just start telling a story and things. Like, I know people are going to be all like, wait, wait a minute, what? See, y'all don't understand, like, I could come up with a story, no problem. Whether it's a comedy story, whether it's a horror story, an action-packed story. Like, I don't even know, like, that, I feel like that's, like, God's gift to me, how just creative I can be with certain things. Like, if I have the tools and material in front of me... Bro, I could come up with anything. So, yeah, that's why I'm like, a hun- me going through a haunted house, I will have to be desperate, okay, for, um, yeah, for that stuff. But I'm not desperate. I'm perfectly fine where I'm at. So, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. And if you're purchasing tickets from SeatGeek, Make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS and they'll knock $20 off your first purchase. So, in that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.